but that also does bring us to the idea of the blurb. Ah, the blurb. That's so and important, that's, I think. And that's words. And so mm -hmm. that's words. Um, has anybody here um, investigated the, those different methodologies for producing a blurb? Anybody seen, uh, you know, step by steps on how to produce a blurb? I have not seen yes. anything step by step on on how to produce uh, blurbs. Totally in trial and error, and heavily on the error. <laughs> <laughs> really would welcome any guidance you can offer. Well, yeah, I, the error part—that's the way it usually goes, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I did a little bit in the self-editing workshop because I put it at the bottom of the slide. Uh, this is very useful for creating the blurb. The key things in the blurb are identify the characters, identify the problem, and give a sense of what the conflicts are in attempting to resolve the problem. So uh, a common formula in a romance is introduce character one and her problem. Introduce character two and their intersection with the first character's problem, um, in addition to whatever their complication is. Um, so for example, in a, in a, uh, in a, in a, um, you know, uh, uh, like a fake romance, uh, blurb, um, she's destitute, um, and needs money to, to save, or not, maybe not even destitute. She needs money to save her favorite animal shelter. Uh, rich guy comes along. He can't get his father's inheritance unless he shows up at the, the Christmas corporate, Chris, corporate Christmas party uh, with the intention with being able to tell his father he's going to get married on New Year's Day, you know, and that sort of thing. Um, so you introduce the two characters, you introduce their problem, and then the sense of the complication is, you know, is, is this going to go past the year required um, or is, is this going to blow up in their faces before everything can come, you know, can come to fruition. Um, so that's, that's a way to build. Um, like a tr so again, and the key thing with the blurb is to bring in the language of the tropes that will attract the readers you want. So if you are writing a romance that has certain tropes in it and you know that readers are out there looking for those tropes, you need to in invite in that language into your blurb. Um, this is not the time to hide. This is the time to hide the ending, but this is not the time to hide um, or finesse the um, complication come right out and say, this is going to be a complication. Um, so that would be, that would be my advice um, on, on a blurb. 